Hello there, Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in. We're going to stamp, create, lose things, have fun together. I'm so glad that you're here on this beautiful Saturday. At least it's a beautiful Saturday here in Minnesota. Give me a shout out in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from and what your weather's like. We were 79 degrees today for the high. Crazy, um, which is awesome. Oh, you can't hear me, I bet. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, goodness. Hang on. I just realized that I... I'm missing my camera. You can hear me? Okay, good. It must have overrode the sound that was off. Um, let me just get my other camera so that we can make a card together, friends. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, we're going to make a, a fun fold card tonight. We're going to use a sneak peek of some new things. And let's get this camera set up. We want the back camera, all the things. We need to plug it in so that we've got, uh oh, hang on. I have a ridiculous number of cords <laughs> for this our uh, creative adventures here. So bear with me. If I don't plug my phone in, it won't last through our video. So. All right. There's a <laughs> Hang on. Can hear me. Goodness, rocky start tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness okay let me know if you 87 degrees in southern arizona yeah that's warm that is very warm uh let me know uh if you can still hear me i changed microphones oh, oh thank you shirley shirley says we're good yay thumbs up okay <laughs> All the things. All right. Um, welcome, everyone. So glad that you're here. Uh, I wanted to let you know that I um, I just decided to do a, a flash sale. I am passionate about um, creatively inspiring you to make and send more handmade cards. You are all amazing at all the cards that you make and send to make the world a kinder place. So thank you for all you're doing. And I love to hopefully inspire you to create and send more cards. So I decided to do a, uh, a sale. <laughs> I've been doing Crafternoon uh, unique fun fold cards that I designed for the last um, two years plus. Um, we're in what April now. So this will be our uh, 28th Crafternoon. That's crazy to me. Um, and so I decided to put the 24 Crafternoon tutorials from 2022 and 2023 on sale for 50% off. So there's a coupon code, create, capital C, create 48, no space between the two. And um, feel free to pick up some, uh, some creative inspiration to get you some uh, new fun fold ideas. So let's go ahead and dive down to the desktop. Okay, I cleared a space. You, <laughs> you saw the mess. Oh, I have happy mail. So our card tonight is inspired by some happy mail that I got from... Uh, a team member, Carol Smith. Before I show you that, I'm going to show you one that Anita Dixon, one of my longtime team members, stopped over uh, last week. And she gave me this adorable little Ghirardelli uh, chocolate holder. Look, she's got little, it's a little baby Ghirardelli uh, mini chocolate caramel. I've been hiding it for my son so it doesn't get eaten <laughs> um, with the beautiful zinnias. And she, um, she was inspired by Oh my gosh, I've lost something already. I seriously had it in my hand before we started. Oh my gosh, you guys, what are we going to do with me? Um, it probably fell when all the other things were. Oh, here it is. Found it. <laughs> so I did a video a while back um, with the uh, um, Latte Love is the name of the stamp set. The paper is... Um, I'm blanking out. Uh, anyway, I made this. And so that was what inspired Anita. Um, inside, I had a gift card and some Ghirardelli chocolate. 
and um, the the slot that was die cut was with the um, Happy Little Things dies, which uh, were out of stock for a while. They are back in stock, and they're uh, very inexpensive for those two little little banner dies. And the, gosh, they're sure handy. Um, so super cute uh, Zinnia version from Anita. And the card. Let me show you the card we're gonna make tonight. So. I love fun folds. You might know that about me. I'm very excited about our upcoming craft afternoon um, tutorial, which is going to be this coming Saturday at 3 p.m. Central Time. People who placed a $50 order with me last month are going to be getting a packet. Those all went out today. They also went with the new catalog. So if you're participating in craft afternoon this month, if you placed a qualifying order in March, you're going to get a packet along with your new catalog. Uh, very soon. They were all dropped off. So um, this is um, this is the card I received from team member Carol Smith and I was very intrigued by this fold and I got super confused <laughs> when I was trying to figure it out. So I'm hoping that we can figure it out together because I assumed that this was folded down um, and that this was one long piece, but that would be 16 inch wide designer paper, which uh, we don't have. And like, how did she do that? And I finally figured it out, I think. So we're gonna, we're gonna make this card. Of course, uh, Carol used the beautiful perennial lavenders, uh, perennial lavender designer series paper. We're gonna use a sneak peek of some brand new products. Yay! Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to use a new one. So this coming um, Saturday is craft afternoon. I also have my um, my quarterly team meeting is going to be on Thursday. And so they'll be making another version of the craft afternoon with some of the new products. And um, so what we're going to use is, well, let me bring it out here. Um, okay, first of all, I have... <laughs> Uh, I have some random um, craft afternoon boxes here. Let's see what we have. These are some of the tutorials that are on sale. This one is the vertical uh, freestanding fun fold card uh, from 2022. Uh, extremely popular one. Had the gnomes version. These are, I went a little bit crazy on this one and had um, a boatload of alternates. So these tutorials are all on sale for the next 48 hours for 50% off. Um, just some super fun stuff in here. Okay, so that one was the freestanding fun fold. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them, you guys. I must have really went crazy that month. Holy cow. And then uh, this is another one that is on sale. This was, uh, oh my gosh, this one's been very, very popular. This is the Flying Seagull fun fold card. Um, so it's like that. You can see the seagull flying there. Uh, and I did, um, yeah, my son helped me name the flying seagull. And these are all the different versions in this tutorial. Uh, yeah, just uh, this is another one that is on sale 50% off. And then this one is, uh, which one is this? Oh, the, the um, I don't remember what it's called. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking out. Help me out, guys. What is this one called? I thought it was pretty pleats, but it's not. Anyway, this one's on sale too. <laughs> um, so fun, so fun. Okay, all right, all the things. All right, let's 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 put these away. All right, where is, I was trying to get to my paper under these. All right, so here it is, found it. All right, so we're going to recreate Carol Smith's fun fold. Uh, card. And so what I realized is that these, uh, these triangles here um, are separate. They are glued on to the front. They're not one continuous piece. So it's, that's what, <laughs> that's where I got confused. Um, yeah. So this is going to be, so they're, they're, I think they're this, this triangle cut off and flipped. Oh my gosh, are we gonna be able to figure this out, you guys? Oh boy, okay, let's hope we can. All right, so we're gonna use this beautiful paper and I would love you guys to help me figure out which pattern to use. I identified three that would be good options. So let's, um, this paper is called Unbounded Beauty and it features a lot of the new in colors, which are gorgeous. Um, 
Yeah, Unbounded Beauty is the name of the paper. I was double checking that. Okay, I don't want to bury my dimensions. Um, and so we have this one, which is Pretty in Pink. Pretty in Pink is, you just made that card today. Oh, good, Pat Frank. You can uh, walk me through it. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I've got, got a cord problem here. So sorry, they're hanging in my way. Okay. Hopefully we're good there. All right, so this side, we've got Pretty in Pink on this side. And on the back, we have this pretty bouquet. So just keep in mind that this particular design, when you're um, when you're doing this card, you're going to want to pick a paper that is, um, what do I want to say? A paper that, that both sides look good together, right? So this paper is Unbound and Beauty. This is a sneak peek from the upcoming annual catalog that does not start until May 1st, unless you're a demonstrator. Demonstrator can, uh, demonstrators can pre-order selected products from the new catalog. And this is one of the suites that we can order. So we could do this one. That would be what the two sides would look like. All right. But wait, I have more. <laughs> then we have this one. And the back side is all Summer Splash. So we could do those two together. Yeah, you want sides that coordinate. Exactly, Mary. And then this one is, by the way, shout out to my moderator, Mary Nass, hanging out in the comments here, dropping all the good things on YouTube with the sizes and dimensions and products. So thank you, Mary. Um, uh, was it the squeeze box fun fold, Jennifer? Hey, Jennifer's here. Hey, Jennifer. Um, squeeze box fun fold. Thank you so much. That's what it was. I was thinking pretty pleats, but squeeze box. Okay. This one is squeeze box because it goes like that, like a little accordion. Oh, I remember it well now. <laughs> I'm a little tired today, friends. It's going to be a rocky night. All right. I'm going to need your help. Okay. So this one, again, we've got that beautiful summer splash and then the, um, Petunia pop, pop a petunia pop with a little dot of, of, of pretty and pink in the center and then some little pretty and pink flowers. I didn't even notice that before that that was in there. And then the back is all petunia pop. So we have, we have some good choices, you guys. How on earth are we going to pick? Okay, we're going to do our, um, I'll do this side up, shall I? Okay, we'll, we'll, wait, wait, wait. You guys need to be separated. You're too similar. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we do one, two, or three? One, two, or three. Let me know in the comments. I'll do a little flip here so you can remember what the back side is. One, two, or three. I'm super nervous. We're not going to be able to figure out this card. Uh, oh, I'm seeing a lot of ones. Look at that, and a lot of threes. All right, number two has been voted off the island. Pretty in pink, I love you. Just go and have a little rest time. We will, we'll be back with you at another creative time. <laughs> All right, let's get it narrowed down. Oh gosh, it's, oh, Flo and I are both voting for the, the pretty the pretty in pink, so, but I think we're, one of, we're, we're uh, the minority here. So it looks like, I'm just scanning through because, mm, yeah, you guys are a little torn. It looks like between, someone said 33. <laughs> I think that was just a double hit. So, oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to have to make an executive decision here. So it's really close. You're changing to three. <laughs> um, okay. So let's, let's, um, are we going to have to make two cards again, you guys? Oh my goodness. All right. Let's, let's, um, let's start with one. Oh wait, now I see a whole bunch of threes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna start with three, and if we have time, we'll do a one, two. Okay. Otherwise, I'll do it afterwards and post it in the Susanso Facebook group. Uh, okay. Let's. Get, we need a paper trimmer. Mm -hmm. We need a paper trimmer, and it's got papers in it. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, it's messy here. It's. I know you're all shocked by that revelation that my stamp room is messy. All right, so we're going to cut our 12 uh, by 12 paper at five and a quarter inches. Let me just, uh, what do we, oh, where's my ruler? I thought I brought my little tiny ruler upstairs, but I don't see it, which means I probably left it downstairs. I'm just going to double check here. Yep. So five and a quarter inches. 
And this paper is not directional, it's omnidirectional. So um, I don't have to pay particular attention to that. If it was directional, I would. All right, so that is five and a quarter. And then I need to score it at, there's our ruler again. I can lose anything, you guys, seriously. Oh, here it is, found it. All right, take a sip, everyone. We found the ruler. All right, we're gonna score it at two, at four, at eight, and at 10. Okay, two, four, eight, and 10. That's, that's not that hard to remember, right? Two, okay, don't cut it, Sue. Just, let's get the cutting blade out of play here. All right, so two. And I don't know which direction's going up, but we'll decide that. Two, uh, what did I say? Two and four, right? Two and four. And then we skip to eight. So I'm going to have to pull this out on the side. Do you have two craft rooms? I do not, Francis. If I had two craft rooms, I just have a bigger mess. I have Tic Tacs, though. <laughs> they kind of match. Ooh, I'm, I'm thinking of a, a treat holder with um, Summer Splash and Kit Kats. What do you guys think? All right. Um, <laughs> did I mention I'm really tired? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Two, four, and eight. Focus, Susan. Score it two, four, eight, and then ten. All right. Okay. Whew. Oh, I often mention I lift something downstairs. Okay, so downstairs is what used to be my uh, my classroom. Um, good good observation. Um, and so when I do these big um, big mailings, like my team mailing and my uh, craft noon mailings, I do them downstairs, actually in my kitchen. Um, and in the classroom and lay things out. So you're right. Right now, most of the new product is staged downstairs in the classroom area because there's no room up here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shift this back. Okay, so this is where we're at so far. Let's bring our, our sample card back in. And I'm just trying to decide which pattern I want to show the most because that's the one you're going to want up. Would you recall that the most? It's got the four, I guess it's the same, isn't it? So you've got the four triangles that are going to be the one pattern. Um, actually, the one that's going to show the most is what the one that's going to be on the inside. So that would be this way. <laughs> and then this pattern would show in the middle. I, let's try that. Is that right? No, that's not what you should know. This pattern would be in the corners, right? All right, let me know, friends, which one should we have be facing up? Um, so the four corners would be the bouquet and this would be in the middle and on the inside, or should we flip it the other way and have, um, have it be like that, where the floral's on the inside and the center, okay? So do you want summer splash? in the middle and inside, or do you want the floral in the middle and the inside? Myrtle says flip it. This is what you mean by flip it. Um, while you guys are voting, I'm gonna cut a piece of summer splash for our backing piece. So this is summer splash. In fact, I will show you all the new in colors because they're fabulous. And a lot of they're almost, all of them are in this paper somewhere. Looks like floral, floral, summer splash. Um, okay, so we have pretty in pink, peach pie, petunia pop, summer splash, and and shy shamrock. I almost called it clover. We had a call me clover one many years ago. Shy shamrock. I'm gonna struggle with that one. So we're gonna take the summer splash here, and we're gonna cut a backing piece. So it's a very, um, it's a little bit similar to this is Coastal Cabana. And you can see Coastal Cabana is a lightened up version of the Summer Splash. These two are going to go together beautifully. Okay. 
so let's go ahead and cut this so this is going to be the backing part of our card and it's going to be five and a half by four and a quarter now every year Stampin' Up! introduces five new in colors and those colors stay with us for two years until they get retired some of them come out of retirement when they do a color refresh some of them just stay retired so um let's see so i think we'll do the floral in the middle i think several uh, we had people voting for both so we'll go ahead and do the floral in the middle and on the inside so if that was your vote yay you <laughs> all right here's what we got to figure out so we're gonna have to cut off this corner and then flip it and put it down here so how the heck are we gonna do that guys let's um hmm. let's grab a ruler and figure it out <gasps> angles are scary to me i don't know why so it looks to me like this was cut so it's five and a quarter and it was cut at about, looks like about two and three quarters, doesn't it? Um, nope, it was cut exactly in half is where that point was. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get this done. All right. I'm going to bring in the paper trimmer. And I am going to, I think I'm going to have to make a little pen mark here. So, oh, prayers going out to Patricia. I'm so sorry for your loss, Patricia. Um, let's see, five and a quarter, so that's two and a half. And I'm going to do two and five eighths. And I'm going to make a little pen mark right there. This is scary. All right, and now I'm going to cut from this score line to that pen mark. And I'm going to hope it works. <laughs> All right, so I've cut that corner. And that is going to be flipped. Holy cow, it's going to work, you guys. Oh, my goodness. All right, so let's go ahead and um, go over here. We're going to do the same thing. All right, so let me repeat what I did there. Um, five and a quarter, a half of half of five and a quarter is two and five eighths. Two and five eighths. So one short of the two and three quarter mark. Okay. And then we want to cut, make sure you're going to cut the same um, top corner, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the trimmer and line it up to the score line. And the other side to the mark and I want to cut that fingers crossed that this works the other side seemed to work well now I'm just gonna get rid of the pen mark so these are like my all-time favorite pens these are called friction pens and they are erasable pens and they are amazing I use them for everything <laughs> I don't have very good um, handwriting. My hands get tired um, when I write a lot and I often make mistakes. And so these are great because I, I can erase the boo-boo inside the card without having to remake the whole card. All right, we've got our little corners that we cut off from there and those are just gonna be flipped around and put here, okay, for our card. I do like it with the floral on the inside, I, but I, you know, I think it would have worked either way. Um, I don't think, I'm curious, I think because these are angles, I'm guessing you can't change your mind now, but should we try it and see? I'm curious, how about you guys? I'm curious to see if that is possible. So I'm gonna flip this around and see what happens. Because angles are weird. <laughs> They don't always play nice. <gasps> we could, you guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You can do you can change your mind after you cut and do it the other way. So there we go. 
Mm, they're both nice. Um, let's go ahead and put this on the summer splash there. I think if I did the floral on the backing, I guess I'd be tempted to do it with pretty pink, pretty and pink as a backing. So I'm going to go back to our original way of doing it this way. But just know that you can change your mind. And I do, as you guys know, I do. You like the floral on the inside better? Okay, yeah. We're going to stick with that. Um, I do sometimes change my mind. So it's really nice to know that this fold is versatile and we can do it either way. So let's move the trimmer out of the way. And just one more time, we scored this. I will show the measurements at the end. Um, we scored at 2, 4, 10, no, 2, 4, 8, and 10. And the size was 5 and a quarter by 12. And then we made a mark at the two and five eighths inch spot, which is halfway between on the five and a quarter side here, two and five eighths, and then just did a, a diagonal cut to this score line. So actually very simple. So there we go. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna crease this because it's bouncing. Oh, some of you like the, the summer splash on the inside. Um, and the summer, I realize that sometimes the colors don't come through very true across, depending on what device you're watching on. Um, so it might look green to you, but it's actually, um, it is a little bit of a greenish blue, but it's very much a turquoise tone, I guess I would say. Again, a, a, a little bit darker than Coastal Cabana. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stick these on. Now, if, um... One thing to note, if you're using a directional paper and you stick these on, they will be going the other direction. So that's just something to keep in mind. Like on this card, it totally doesn't matter. Um, it is directional, but you don't notice it. It's like, I did not notice that at all. Um, but on some cards that would, uh, you know, it was an animal and it's upside down now, it would be very obvious, right? So anyone have a guess on where I put the, uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> found it oh so we need a little bit of sticky stuff so we're gonna um adhere these triangles down now all right also use a uh, liquid glue if you prefer and then we're gonna get some we're gonna decorate it yay all right there we go we are, since it's like all of a sudden, suddenly summer here in Minnesota, I think we skipped right over spring. <laughs> uh, we're going to grill out tonight. So hopefully preparations are being made down there while, while we're creating a way up here. All right, there we go. There is our card. We're going to stick it on here and then we can do some decorating. Oh gosh, it's a shame to cover up that pretty... <laughs> summer splash isn't it these these colors are just so um they're so they're so happy and they they actually all go together really nicely which isn't always the case within colors um and you could decide which side you want which direction you want to be up but you'd want to do that before you cut the corners right and again this one is omnidirectional so it did not matter so we go ahead um Let's go to this card. So um, Carol put a, uh, a piece inside here. Let's measure that. It was two and three quarters. I'm sorry, Mary, I did not give you this dimension, did I? Four and a quarter by two and three quarters. I'm going to write that on my sheet here. It'd be super duper awesome if I had a Sharpie. Oh, I do. Hurrah. All right, so inside piece. I can't spell piece, okay. I hope that, is that right? <laughs> I am a horrible speller, you guys. Oh my goodness, you're learning all my, my, my bad secrets here. All right, this one is four and a quarter. Okay, that's the inside piece. Right, let's put that aside. Now, um, now Carol did it in the um, Highland Heather, 
which is a light enough that she could color on it, uh, draw the write on it, write a message on it, which you could certainly do with a summer splash. I am leaning towards white though for the inside. I don't know why. That just seems right to me. Let me know in the comments your thoughts while I try to locate a scrap of basic white cardstock. It can't be that hard. Oh my goodness. All right, it's hang on. All right, I'm just gonna get a whole sheet. I'm just gonna get a whole sheet. All right. Um, what about pink? Fonda says, what about pink? Well, we could always do pink. Let's see what white looks like first. What did I say it was? Two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Okay. Well, that makes it easy. I'll just cut it in half at four and a quarter. Can't go wrong with good old basic white, right? And two and three quarters. But Fonda's right, you absolutely could pick up any one of those colors that's in the paper as well. If you wanted a little more pizzazz on the inside, or you could even do a layer uh, behind this. Come on. <laughs> uh, but pop a color, which I am kind of leaning towards trying. Should we try it? All right. So if that was four and a quarter by two and three quarters, all we need to do is add a quarter inch, right? So it's going to be instead of two and three quarters, it's Oh, wait, I have to do it this way. Okay, so uh, it's four and a quarter, so it's going to be four and a half. Four and a half by three. If you do the full layer, then it might pop a little bit more. Look at that. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. Just to add that layer. All right, we're, we're adding to our paper here so that you guys can take your screenshot later. <laughs> I wish I had better handwriting for you, but you know what? Mm. It just is what it is. Layer for inside <laughs> was three inches by four and a half inches. Okay, joke. All right. <laughs> Paula thinks pink would look better. Pink is always good. Pink is always good. Okay. So we've got some inside things happening. Now we need a pretty thing on the front. Um, uh, Carol used uh, a die cut. Not, not remembering off the top. I recognize it, but I'm not remembering off the top of my head where it's from. Um, oh, I think it's from the same set. <laughs> no? There's one all very similar to it in this set. So this is the um, uh, Unbounded Love Bundle. Let's grab our words. These are the words, Unbounded Love. And these are all of the dies. You can see we have lots of frames. And it's actually made um, where, for instance, this one cuts out a delicate um, uh frames so you can frame some of the other ones. I'm not saying that very well. It cuts out a frame to go with some of the labels. So this is a frame. Um, let's see. I think there is another one. That's this one. I think this one is a frame here. So um, that gets a little lost, doesn't it? Okay, hang on. Trying all my things here. We could do these two together and do this one in, um, oh, I almost called it Coastal Cabana. This one in Summer Splash and this one in white with our cinnamon on it. Let's try that and see what that looks like. Um, this one is fun with the leaves. It also is a frame, actually. Um, so you don't get a middle part. It's, it's a frame with delicate leaves. And uh, yeah, super fun. I like these little leaves too. Okay, let's go ahead and die cut these. Um, do we need a leaf? I don't know that it would show up. Hmm. Well, we'll see. All right. Let's do some die cutting and see what we can make from our card here. So I'm going to bring in, hmm, I have one cut already, but it's the wrong color. Okay, let's bring in the die cutting machine right here. There we go, and oh, let's see, 
idea. Just need a little bit of Summer Splash. Just a little dabble do ya. I just was, did I not have any? I did have some pieces left. Hang on. Do any of these work? Are they too small? Oh, look at that, you guys. It's perfect. I love those happy accidents, don't you? Perfect matchup. All right, let's put that there. And we're going to grab some white cardstock. Just so happen to have boatloads <laughs> of it on my cutting desk. All right, I feel like this is so skinny, this might move. So let's just put a little insurance on it with a sticky note and tack that down, okay? All right. Let's send it through and see what we think. I do have a, do I have a couple? I think I have a couple of those leaves die cut over here so we can try that out and see if we're gonna like that or not. We might get a little lost. There's so much white in our pattern, unless we did them in Summer Splash, which would be an option. All right, let's just, um, I don't have them cut in Summer Splash. We'd have to cut that, but we can do that. All right, let's go ahead and pop this out. And pop this one out. So we're gonna have our greeting right there. Ooh, that looks nice, doesn't it? And it's just gonna pop right on the front there. And I do like to pair up. So somebody said you could do pretty and pink. You absolutely could. If I was doing pretty and pink, I would make the backer pretty and pink. I would make this pretty and pink and I would make the inside pretty and pink. It does somehow pull the card together when you keep those colors more uh, the same. I guess. All right. So you have this one on your wish list. Yeah, it's a, it's a keeper. Good choice. All right. So we're going to go ahead and find a sentiment. Oh, I was going to try the leaf, wasn't I? Hang on. Let me grab one or two. <laughs> Just so happen to have some die cut. Top secret why I have some die cut. So it gets a little lost um, because of the white background. Um, so I don't know if that's really going to add much to our card. We could do them in Coastal Cup. Uh, <laughs> did it again in Summer Splash. Oh, my goodness. All right. That's going to be a hard one for me. Um, at least it's still the current color. Sometimes I pull out covers, colors that have been gone for a long time. Sue is wondering what the name of this designer series paper is. It is called Unbounded Beauty. And it is uh, gorgeous. All right. So we need a sentiment to put on our little piece here. Let's um, let's hope that. Oh, here's another one of the frames. Um, I just so happen to have it right in the set here. So this is another one from this die set that cuts a little frame. Super cute. Uh, but we're not using that right now. So um, I can see that some of these are floating around on my desk. <clears throat> not a shock. Um, how about the word hello? Why do I have a bad feeling that's on my desk? Oh, no, nope, it's not. I see it right here. Is Hello going to fit? <gasps> I think it is. We've got um, love, faith, peace, best of luck. Uh, friend would fit. You are loved might fit. Uh, where is you are loved? Just for you would not. Let's see. Yeah, you are loved. You are loved would fit. All right. Are we going to do you are loved or hello? Let's see if hello fits first. I think it does. There's hello. It fits. A, there'll be a lot, of, a lot of space on both sides, though. Uh, what other choices do I have? Have a blessed day. That might fit. Let's see. Ooh, that's really tight on this particular label. I think it might just fit. You are loved. Okay, someone said hello, hello. Hello would be nice and would work for many things. Okay, most people said hello, so let's give that a go. All right, we'll need a block for that. Now, reminder that the retired sale is in full swing now. Um, some items have sold out, but there are many uh, remaining. So uh, 
Okay, I'm going to do the retired block A. It is a retiring block A that is one of the items that's sold out, but it perfectly fits the stamp, so I'm going to use it anyway. All right, we're going to grab the Summer Splash ink pad. Not a big surprise, right? And we're going to, oh, celebrate. I think is celebrate, oh, celebrate's a good one. In fact, funny you should say that. It's laying on my desk because, um, okay, if you're a team member, close your ears. Yeah, let's use celebrate. Um, if you're a team member, close your ears because we're using it on the team version of the craft noon card. Shh, top secret, top secret. Okay, um, celebrate. Let's stamp it on here. I do like a good birthday card, so that is super cute. Good call on the celebrate, Marcy. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat. I'm gonna mm, pretend I lost something and take a sip. <clears throat> and then I think if we're gonna have celebrate on the outside, we should probably have happy birthday on the inside. Uh, I do love the font of this particular set. It is really, really pretty. So we're going to grab happy birthday here. Oh, and um, you don't want to ink up your fingernail <clears throat> because that could cause problems on my card. Hang on, I got a Kleenex in my pocket. Okay, took care of it. Phew, save the card. Just see a big smear of summer splash on the card somewhere where we didn't want it. Happy birthday. All right, let's 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 put some things together here. We're going to pop this up on dimensionals. Does that surprise anybody? <laughs> I love dimensionals. They add a lot of dimension, hence the name. And pop that up. But hello would have been very cute too. Celebrate right here. This ink pad is brand new, so it is super juicy. And they do tend to stamp a little dark when they're new. All right, there's the celebrate. Now, what I like, okay, well, what I don't like is that I didn't get it centered. Hang on, hold the phone. I know it doesn't matter. The most important thing is to get it in the mail and get it out the door, right? But <clears throat> I'd like to have a chance. <laughs> um, all right, so we've got our... Um, our greeting here, our sentiment, that's going to go right here. And what I like about these little kind of divots on the sides is that you can, it's a perfect place to put embellishments. And you all know I love embellishments. Now this week comes with some embellishments. They are called 2024-2026 in color resin dots. Um, there are also some in color shimmer gems that are in this, all of the in colors um <clears throat> mine have have taken a um i'm running low let's put it that way we're not going to say why <laughs> until craft afternoon um okay got more ink on me oh boy all right so let's grab a take your pick tool and add a little um, pizzazz to this with the, now this is one where you could, you know, we might want to go with the pink. Let's try it, you guys, and see. I'm going to try the big one. Because if I did the same color, it's just going to kind of disappear, right? Let's try it with the pink, and then we will try it with the Summer Splash and see what we like better. Oh, come on now. There we go. Well, it's almost in the right spot. <clears throat> mm, no, it's not, not doing it for me. I would maybe do Petunia Pop instead, but let's try it with Summer Splash and see what we think. Okay. Could also use the small ones. Let me just see what those look like. Oh, those are cute. Actually, they do, they do show up. I know they probably don't on camera. But they add a lot of dimension here, and they are a little bit darker. Can you see how they do show? I actually, I kind of like that. Let's try it. But you're right. Petunia Pop would be a good uh, a good choice. I'm going to stick with this one because I'm happy. <laughs> and I'm really picky. It's hard to make me happy, right? All right. So let's go ahead. And I just want to see. I'm wondering if I stamp this too high. Will it matter? Let's stick it in and just, oh, no, that's just totally fine. Okay. So let's stick this together, and I think we've made a card. 
Hurrah! All right. Let's go ahead and put some adhesive on this side. It's reminding me, Mom told me she is out of adhesive, so I need to get her some more sticky stuff. All right, there we go. And we're going to put this on now. You could add this with, um, you could just adhere it straight on, or you could add a dimensional. When given the option, I always go dimensional. <laughs> but if you want your card to be flatter, you could uh, um, not do a dimensional. I'm hoping I didn't get too carried away there. No, we're fine. I only want it on one side, or I'm going to stick my card closed, which would not make me very happy. And I'm going to try to center it in our kind of reminds me of a kite almost that um that triangle there and it opens up like this <gasps> it's so pretty oh my gosh carol thank you so much for inspiring us how are we doing on time here oh we are almost out of time um what do we think about the leaves do we want any leaves and should we try them in uh, coastal cabana and see what we think yes susan let's do that okay <laughs> We'll do that. And I was thinking, um, let me grab this piece of paper over here. This is a retiring paper. I think it's on sale right now. It is called Masterfully Made. This one would be really pretty with this design as well because the other side um, does match. So very, very pretty combo. That would be gorgeous. Um, yeah. All right. Let's die cut a leaf really quick here. Really, 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 really quick. Okay. Uh, bring in the die cutting machine. Do not drop it on your foot. That would be not good. Let's put the dies away before I lose them. Not that I ever lose anything. <laughs> All right. Let's, Let's grab a double leaf. Go big or go home, right? Is that going to fit on my little scrap? Oh my gosh, I don't think it is. It's so close, but no cigar. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. All right, that's okay. We have this whole piece right here. And I could get a lot of leaves out of this. I still need to, um, I have the uh, Stampin' Up! Incentive trip to Mexico coming up. And I said I would do the swap. <clears throat> so I need to design a swap for that. I also have a swap for Stampshire for Leaders that is due next week. And a, a one for one swap card that is due next week. So I better get to work. All right, lots of stamping. Did I ever find my missing stamp set? Paula, that is a sad story. I, uh, the answer to that would be no. The short answer to that would be I have not found Quiet Meadow stamp set, which has actually sold out now. Um, yeah, I'm worried that it might have fallen in the trash can and gotten taken out of the trash. I'm hoping that's not the case and that it's just fallen behind my desk or something and that it will eventually turn up, but it is in not in any obvious spot. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and pop this out right here. What do we think? Oh, I'm making a mess. It's all right. All right. Yay. Yes or no on the leaves. Let me know in the comments if you think we want the leaves or not. Joan is asking what set we're using. Joan, we're using a sneak peek of some new product from the upcoming catalog. It is called the Unbounded, Unbounded Love Bundle and the Unbounded Beauty Designer Series Paper. Yes, yes, yes. Couple no's. They're a little torn. Um, whether we want the leaves or not. I'm going to stick them on. I'm going to do it. I see more, more yeses than no's. So I, I do like it just plain too. I, there's no wrong answer here, right? Good either way. Peel this off. Should be using my take your pick tool because now it's going to stick to me. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. I just shoved a little glue dot on the end. Had I realized I was going to do this, I could have um, secured this with the dimensionals that are underneath, but I did not think that through 
And there we have our celebrate card um, with the unbounded love bundle. Yes, you could certainly do the leaves in another color. Leaves do not have to be green. These are summer splash. They could be in petunia pop. Uh, lots of options there. A uh, huge shout out to Carol Smith for her inspiration with the perennial lavender version of the card that she sent to me. Um, let me get those measurements in here and slide these under. Right here. All right, so we've got the, and I don't know what the name of this fold is, um, but it is, you could put leaves on the inside. That is absolutely a good suggestion. That would add a little extra fun on the inside. Things are falling off my desk. What a surprise. So the only thing I don't really have on here for you is um, the triangle part. Make a mark. at two and five eighths to cut diagonal. That is not gonna make any sense unless you watch the video, but if you do watch the video, it will make sense. Oh my gosh, look how messy that is. <laughs> um, no, that's wrong. You don't score at 12. Two, four, eight, and 10. There is no 12. Thank you for catching that. Oh my goodness. That's what happens when you try to do things quickly. Thanks, Francis. <laughs> good catch. Good save. All right. Um, we did it, you guys. We made a gorgeous card. Uh, again, Carol, thank you so much for the inspiration. And then a quick reminder that um, all of the 2022 and 2023 Fun Fold designs for Crafternoon um, are on sale for the next 48 hours for 50% off. You can find them on my blog at seastampfield.com. And uh, you do need to put a coupon code in the coupon code box to get the, the discount. And that is CREATE48. It's a creative inspiration sale. CREATE48 with a capital C to get the sale. Take care, everyone. Have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and creating a card. I'll be back Tuesday at 7.30 Central Time uh, with another creative video. And then Saturday, a week from today at 3 p.m. Central, is our April craft afternoon. Can't wait. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.